everybody to our online program on addiction recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we've been talking about one of the results we discovered in our recent research project. And this was that the participants used substances to fill up what they called a, a void or um, a, an emptiness. <clears throat> and it's the same idea that Viktor Frankl taught us years ago, where he said addiction was a response to this very big vacuum that people feel in their lives. Or the way uh, we might describe it is addiction is a response to living a life that is lacking personal meaning. So uh, over the last few episodes, we've been just putting together these little pieces that we discovered on and what, what is this vacuum? What is this emptiness? What is this void? And one of the, another of these details we discovered was uh, the participants did not feel free to be open, did not feel free to be themselves. And in fact, they often use the, these two words, open and close, to describe relationships. And so, for example, it was difficult for them to engage in behavior where family, their community, society says, don't do that. So they, they felt this need to hide it. Right? And so they couldn't really be open about really what, they were, uh, what was going on for them. Right? So everything, there's a lot of sneakiness going on. And this, this idea of not feeling free to be open uh, seems to be a big part of this vacuum, uh, this void, this emptiness that the fellows were talking about. So pretty much the opposite of uh, Barfly, one of my favorite movies, where Barfly is completely open. And Barfly, uh, well, he doesn't judge people. He doesn't think he's better or worse than anyone else. He just, look, I'm an, uh, I drink a lot. I'm an alcoholic. And that's the way it is. But our participants never were like that. Uh, there was interesting, there was one fellow, and his tactic was, uh, eh, if he were a little hungover at work or something, he would tell everybody he drank all night. Under the assumption that, of course, if you tell someone you drink a lot, then you can't possibly be an alcoholic because everybody knows alcoholics hide their drinking. And so his thinking was, well, if I tell everybody, oh, I drink, way too much all night and oh gee I got this wicked hangover that they would naturally conclude oh he just went out for a party and not conclude that he was an alcoholic simply because alcoholics always hide their drinking. So it was kind of a reverse psychology I guess. Anyway this idea of uh, not feeling free to be open I mean again this is a tough way of living in the world not and not easy to feel an ease or a comfort in the world if you don't feel free to be open about, about things. Everything seems to be just a little sneaky, right? And there's secrets and things hidden. And that way of living seems to be the part of this vacuum, this emptiness and void. So that was another interesting thing that came out in our research. Uh, again, just putting on details to Viktor Frankl's ideas of that drinking is a response to living a life which is just not fulfilling. Uh, it's uh, no real meaning for the person. And the interesting thing about the vacuum too is the vacuum was true regardless of the education level of the participant, uh, how much money he made, the status of the job, whether he was in a relationship or not, whether you know, he was older or younger, whether they had kids, I mean, all these things, none of that seemed to have an impact on the idea of feeling a void or an emptiness. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, that's it for uh, this program, and we'll be back uh, next time with a new topic.